All right, so for the fifth time of me trying to record this video today, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna detail my car. So there's no more takes. This is the last take. Yes, I'm wearing the band. We gotta just do it sometimes. My hair's getting a little long. My muscles are getting big. My traps are getting huge. Ketchup, mustard, whatever. No big deal anyway. I've been detailing other people's cars for the last few months and uh, or a month and a half or two. And um, it does take a couple of hours. So I've been avoiding doing my own car because no one's paying me to do it but i have the day off and uh it's a perfect opportunity here in lovely south florida to wash your car anyway stay tuned for the time lapses love you guys bye guys i just finished the interior of the car i'm pretty proud of myself because it looks pretty freaking cool nice so when you start washing a car for those of you guys that like to wash your own car always start off with the interior why because it's been in your garage or it's been parked overnight so why is it? There's always something, but you know what? I'm going to keep powering through this video. Anyway, um, you start with the interior because the car's cool. You don't want to do the interior after you wash it. I know a lot of drive through car washes, the vacuums are obviously at the end, but by the time that you get to start vacuuming, you start sweating. The interior of the car is going to get really hot regardless. And then you start sweating then you start smudging on the dashboard. You start leaving sweat stains on like the seats and everything. So it kind of makes it hard after you wash the outside of the car. And if you press up against it, so start off with the interior, then move on to the wheels. Now, I'm gonna do the wheels with uh, Adams Polish's wheel cleaner. This stuff makes it so easy because once you spray it on the wheel, you can actually see it start working. It starts turning purple and all the brake dust and all the iron and everything starts kind of coming off the wheel. And then you just go in and you scrub it with, a, you know, you scrub the tire with your tire brush. And then I like to use uh, this little doodad to get in between the wheels. It makes it pretty, uh, pretty easy. Anyway, stay tuned, enjoy it. So, I've washed the wheels. As you can see, they're squeaky friggin' clean, okay? So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse the body and then I'm gonna foam can in it. Now today, because I'm gonna apply a brand new wax for my card called Black Light from Chemical Guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and wash my car instead of your traditional shampoo, which shout out to Meguiar's Hyper Wash. This stuff's awesome. Um, you only have to put uh, an ounce per four gallon bucket. It's ridiculous, but the cars come out Phenomenals, but today what I'm gonna use because what I want to do is strip my car of any old waxings or any sealants or anything like that So I can start over almost I'm gonna use something called clean slate and This is by chemical guys as well. So what that's gonna do again. It's just gonna strip my car of all coatings and previous uh, Waxes and everything I'm gonna foam can it and I'm also gonna use a two bucket system and Then I'm gonna wash the car and then we'll see what happens. All right, love you, bye. Now that the car is fully washed and dried, I'm gonna do the door jams. And then I'm gonna tape all the black trim because if you get wax on a black trim, you're gonna have these little white spots like that right there. And they just won't go away and you're gonna to have to buy a special product to get those removed. Learn my lesson. I still gotta buy the product though. But anyway, I'm gonna tape with painter to tape all of the trim and whatever uh, plastics, because you don't want your wax and your polisher to touch the plastics, otherwise it's gonna stain it. Uh, so I'm gonna tape it up, and then we're gonna start the polishing process. Hope you guys are enjoying this, because I am guys, sweating. So I taped the car. It looks pretty cool, right? All the plastic stuff, the lights, whatever stuff is made out of plastic. And now I'm gonna use um, HexLogic Quantum. This is a finishing pad for glazes, polishes, waxes. Um, it's the blue one. And I'm gonna be using this random orbital by Porter Cable. 
And of course, like I mentioned before, chemical guys, black light. Uh, I'm gonna do a time lapse. So this should be very fun. Stay tuned. Guys, um, I don't know how many of you have waxed. It's, you know, it seems pretty easy. I mean, if you do hand wax, good luck on your shoulders. But if you're gonna use one of these guys, what you wanna do is you wanna apply little dots, five of them. Usually one in the middle, but there's a hole in there. So I'll go ahead and make six, right? So you put little dime sized dots like that, and then you blotch it on the, on the, on the hood, okay? On the spot that you're gonna start. And you wanna start off in sections. You don't wanna like move through, a, through the whole hood right off the bat. So I'm gonna start this quarter of the hood and then move forward, all right? Love you. that I already wiped off. And this is obviously what it looks like. It starts turning hazy. You let it sit for about maybe 15, 20 minutes like that. Just read the directions on your bottle. In this case, 15 minutes. So yeah, it's like a mirror. It's crazy. I still got to finish the whole car. I figure it's going to be too long with time lapse, but I'll show you guys once the whole thing is done. All right, guys, uh, car is almost done. I just want to hit the headlights real quick. And I'm going to use Chemical Guys uh, Headlight Restore along with my power drill that I use at the house, okay? And then I'm gonna put this uh, pad, it's actually uh, from Hexlogic. It's a cutting pad, I think. I can't recall the name, I don't have the packaging anymore. But it's the same idea as the wax. First off, obviously you wanna clean the bowl, but I already did all that stuff. You just apply, I like to put three dots on this one. I popped the hood so it um, doesn't spray over onto my freshly waxed car. I probably should have done this beforehand, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and just stab this one here too. Here we go. Make sure that you don't leave like any mounds because otherwise they will spit up, just so you guys know. I just learned that from experience. Pretty freaking right, good. Guys, car's all done. That's it, baby. I weighed myself this morning before I started my day because I ate terribly last night. And I weighed myself just now. I haven't eaten anything or really drink any water. Lost five pounds. So it feels good. The car's clean. I lost a little bit of weight. And it's probably gonna last like that for you know a couple weeks. Car is finally done. 
I know it sounds like I'm being a funny guy. Hey guys, uh, Lalo DIY here. I never made a goodbye video, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and tell all your friends about it. And if you would like for me to come and detail your car, please feel free to call me. If you have my number, great. If you don't, feel free to send me a message at any of my social media apps. Thank you and have a blessed day. Lalo DIY out. Huh. <sighs>